Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This is part one of how I tackle a remix from scratch. So in today's session, I'll be starting with a blank slate and going through the stems that I've got and giving you a little look at how I get a track going. My aim will be to get probably the drums down, maybe a little bass, maybe a little stem in the mix from the original track. I'm gonna be using uh, the Isla instrument just to get a kick drum. This to get a snare, then I'm going to try and do the rest inside the box so I can give you as much insight as possible. This will give you a little look into my workflow and what is inside Synth, though. This will just be a drop in the ocean of all the amazing content that's in there. And if anyone doesn't know who I am, I'm Josh Baker, a DJ, producer, label owner, festival owner, and teacher. So without further ado, for anyone new, enjoy. Guys, let's get stuck into the remix. I have loaded in the stems. I'm just gonna go through them quickly. That's a cool little effect. I like this. So what I always do with the remix is I go through the stems and choose which ones I wanna keep. It's nice to try and keep as many as possible. So it has that original vibe from the track. I'm gonna just loop one of these up and actually crop the sample. Um, so like that, then put it over eight bars. It's not so frequent. That's a nice little sound that. I think we could even move the start mark this way a bit. And that can keep going. I'm just gonna get the metronome playing in the background to get it all in time. But what's this? Bass line, we'll do our own bass. So I'm gonna delete that. That's cool. We'll leave that in. I'm gonna mute it for now, we'll call that pad. That could be cool in the breakdown. And what have we got here? Nice that. I'm gonna resample that actually, it's a MIDI track. I'm gonna drag this into a MIDI track and then put it next to it. Cause we could potentially resample that. Let's call this robot lead. And then let's call it uh, RL MIDI or simpler. Because we could resample that and play our own melody. Records. Mixer. Turntables. Speakers. Records. Mixer. Turntables. I think we're going to do the truck around this groove. Records. Mixer. We're going to leave it on this first bar to begin with. So this could be worth tightening up. Ableton's usually quite good at warping, but I think it might sure need to go this way, but. Records. Mixer. Turntables. Speakers. Records. Mixer. Turntables. Speakers. Re this end bit needs to speed up, doesn't it? So that this that I think then this bit needs to come in. Records. So I'm gonna actually loop warp some of this bit idea. I don't want to spend this whole video warping, but I guess it's the reality of doing a remix because Ableton sometimes isn't Records. See they kind of stutter a bit. Let's put that there. And that there. If we can just get a core groove going. It's a bit slow on this bit here, isn't it? Can't tell which bit it is. We're going to work with this because I don't want to kill the video doing loads of warping. So... That's good. We're going to come back to that. Right, so I'm going to record a kick drum from the SP. So the 
loop. The vocal is a bit out of time. I'm always making sure that my SP is in time as well. Then sometimes you have to just go to MIDI preferences here and then go to MIDI. And just tighten up the track delay. Then I'm going to get a snare from my Yamaha. Then it's got a nice reverb coming through down there as well. Let me show you. An old SPX90 Yamaha reverb it's called. So we just want to go on the off. So these are really easy to program. One sec. No reach. Mm, you know what? Let's do a snare inside the box. I've got a nice 909 snare somewhere, I'm pretty sure. So. 909. SN. The Syntho Massive will know that this is a 909 snare I've recorded properly on a 909. So, let me just turn this off. So, the push. isn't that useful but it can be useful for just jamming out snare patterns like we could just go there we've got an easy pattern there command u quantize leave that there And by using the push, you see the velocities are all slightly different. I'm going to make sure the offbeat ones are all the consistent um, velocity, just because it'll make the groove sound a bit more solid. But you see them offbeat there. It's nice to have them lower. And things like having um, different note lengths is going to be cool with the groove, I think. They actually sound nicer, shorter the notes. I don't know if it's just my ear thinking that. Yeah, let's do short, every other one shorter. Even if it's not making a difference, it could be a cool groove. Can you hear that little variation? We could duplicate that again. Then have another fill at the end. the snare down as well I think so on my A send and return is a nice lexicon reverb Speakers. 
So the kind of percussion I'm getting to at the moment is really like this reso-y, filtery. I don't know how to describe it, but things like this using like a jazz kick. I did this the other day. And then using an EQ to take out any low end. So let me show you. So now we've got this sound here. Then using a phase mistress by Sound Toys. Then using Echo Boy with a classic eighth dot delay. Oops, can't hear anything. Just a random kind of sequence quantizer. This is cool with this this on this side. That's nice. Try some different delays in here as well. That's nice, this one too. Duplicate it. That's like on a, so let's do that on four so it's not confusing. See that groove is fucking good. We could duplicate this and put it in like a in a bass line and do our bass line around this rhythm. Um ABL three for a starting point could be good. So go acid. A ABL three is a plugin which I use quite a lot, especially at the moment. We could even do like a one note bass line this. Watch this. Go to square wave. Take these off. So we're going to go. I want to try and write a bass line now, you know, while we're on the rhythm. Thank you. 
Not bad, that. Not bad. Change this to like a clav or something, maybe. try and use Records. this is a fucking nice groove excuse the language I'm going to the MS 101 which is a, a Behringer version of the uh, Records. it's the uh, re remake of the SH 101 by Roland Sometimes gaps space Records. like that can add more grooves. Records. You know, like the longer notes then when it hits the club would be more oomph. Then maybe leave that there, then maybe this D could be longer. Records. Records. See it's all about getting the mixture, maybe that could be longer. Records. I think that one's too high. Records. Maybe that's a bit too long. Records. 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 Hmm, 3.2. I think these need to be on the D sharp. Then maybe that needs to go down. Records. Then that acid over the top. I've been doing this quite a lot lately. Like, then you go. Working C minor here, which is a scale I know off by heart, but um, I thought I'd just check the push. So what we do here is get the sequencer. Let's put this effect chain on that sound as well. See what it sounds like. Hmm. These copy see that I've got a bit more modulation in the original sound then if now if I put a, if I put a tuner on here now and I play a C it 
You might tell me what octave it is. Not octave. What note it's playing. I'm going to just zoom in here and make sure it only plays one note. I still think the bass line can be better, but what I like to do is get something down and then just keep working, then maybe we can come back to that. I think if I nail, personally, if I nail the low end, the rest usually comes to quite easy. I was going to say we could try a sequencer on here, Alex could sequencer. So cute little sequencer. Uh, look at this. And then we can actually choose. Hmm, I've got the new one somewhere. Let's see if it's on there. There we go. I think this is the new version. So we can choose uh, root C scale minor. I will attach a link to this sequencer to this video. And we can click randomize. 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 We can even randomize them if we want. Randomize, literally. Let's listen to this now. can mute notes if you want like this. Jeez, the recording just cut out then. So the acid, I'm going to put down an octave. We can use this sequence to actually put a pitch before it. And it'll go up an octave. See, that sounds pretty sick, having them high. And you can literally just experiment and just... I think getting these sequences in, if you struggle to write melodies, they are very, very, very good to use. Then we could even put an auto filter on here and get some movement through this way as well. So I've got some tracks on here which I can actually load, which I'm going to try and load because I've got some hats in here. And what's great about these external machines is you can say patterns on it. And obviously, if you find sounds you really like, you can recycle them. And having this machine has really saved me a lot of fucking tr trouble. Um, which one is it? Let's go mute. Let's try this one. So it's just a sixteenth hat. Now listen to the groove now. The 
This actually has a 909 snare in it as well. I'm going to see what the snare sounds like from this. I think the snare sounds better. I like this one a bit more. So... Be more steppy at the start, so like I think, like this. You know, that gap at the start, boom, boom, boom. You can even go like. Try and experiment here with something crazy. Full shit. Do a duplicate, maybe to go. Hmm, I don't know why they just go crazy on it, maybe. Maybe this note doesn't need to be a. Uh... need it, I think. It does need it. See that little this now. some fucking freaky shit. Out of time. 
I think the the warping I'll do in part two. I don't really see the need to do it here. I like this I like this bass thing here. Very quiet. Just the same. We could just loop it and see what it sounds like. Really quiet. I like the first bit bass. I don't know what it says, but I'm going to mute the rest of the clip so it goes bass and then this turns off. That bass is a fucking monster. For anyone wondering how to create a bass that light in the box, there are a trillion uh, here. Is a plugin which I use a lot. And there is a lot of SH101 presets in there. So you could do this, or there is the... Let me copy this onto here. I've got a tutorial on how to use this plugin inside synth though. You can do SH101. Let's do synth mono type can we do model there sh101 which is the big mad base that one I need to put See that. With the analogness from that, you just get this kind of like a bit of different jump, but you could bring the f this down a bit more. far off I'm gonna try a break beat loop you know I've got this pack called crusty breaks I'm just gonna put one in like this Let's try and get some more synths in. Uh, let's try a rave stab or something weird. So these kind of effects can really spice up your loops as well. Like we could go at the end of the If you do these kind of things early on. You almost get this audio kind of vibe in your track. Well, let me see if there's any more showing places. Let's see what else is in this pack. Let me turn this down. Oh, that's a nice jungle snare, that. Let's do a little roll with that. I was thinking about some sound like that, you know, before. Razzy bass, it says. Like a little cheeky fucking. Like a do -ga -do -ga -do -ga -do -ga -dun. Like some improper rascal. Hey, the note's dead short. 
um, Command Day. Something like that. So this now nah, needs to go down here. See how these now work together? So we've got this call and response between these. Let me get another response in at the end. I want to get some, a little snare groove. Sick this. Welcome to Acid Theater. I think if we duplicate this loop and the first one doesn't do this doubles. over 16 so it goes can I put this over keep it over two Based on a shout before now, this one's <laughs> so, guys, this is part one. Uh, once I get to this point of the track, I tend to take a bit of a 
zoom out, play it on the speakers, and when they've got headphones at the moment, and try and figure out what's working, what's not, and if it's really in the direction of where I want to go. I think it is. It sounds fucking mean. <laughs> That fucking little rave thing's sick. That. But I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If anyone's got any questions, feel free to hit me up. So, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. If you want to watch the rest, you can see it inside the Syntho area. If you've got any questions on this video, just pop them below. I'll get in touch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to see some more industry-style stuff, talking head stuff, head over to the Josh Baker Music YouTube channel, and I've got a lot of content on there as well. Thanks again, and I'll catch you very soon.